Hi, in the previous part, we have understood a lot more thing about PHP my admin, how to uh, create a database, create a tables and import and export and many more things we had understood. But in this tutorial, we will uh, we will do the same thing, but this will give you a more clarity to create a tables, uh, insert some data and uh, drop the database and a lot more thing. So without wasting time, let me just go ahead and uh, write some queries and give you some basic idea about PHP my admin. All right, so PHP my admin is a software we can uh, uh we can perform some action on mysql so here are our user interface we can create a table so there are two way uh all the two way i'll show you uh step by steps all right so let me just write a query this is a boring way to write a queries uh in mysql uh but php admin gives uh, us a very nice user interface to uh create a tables and a lot more thing we can do just drag and drop and just click the buttons and uh anything you can do with this so first we need to create a, a database uh this is boring way to write a queries so create a database create database and name of the database right so mysql underscore uh, tutorial so this is my <clears throat> uh, this is my database name so just go ahead and you will see my database name mysql tutorial has been created all right so let me just click this database so our database has been selected now again just go to sql and here we will write queries to create a tables because uh, database have a tables and tables have some data so you can understand in this way so let me just create a table create a table and name of the table employee uh, table all right so you can add this bracket and semicolon then you can hit enter here and now we will define some data so our data is uh, id is int and uh, int is a type of data and uh, we don't want to no not null not null capital not null and it should be auto incremented okay so first uh a column first field we have defined which is in id is integer type and uh it's a uh, not null and auto incremented and next uh, you can define some more data like uh, employee's name name uh, should be what char what char and you can give a length of uh, your your employees just uh, 50 and it should also be a not uh, null then second uh, third parameter is occupation of the employee so occupation you can uh, add age and anything you can add occupation occup occupation and it's also virtual and not null so you can just uh, copy and paste here because we are defining the same data and uh, fourth parameter fourth field uh, in the table have age age is also something like a uh, integer type you can just uh, define a uh, integer int and it's also a not null so not and null all right so like this way you can just uh, define the things and define the some data type of, of your data of the table so we have a, a employee table inside we have some fields id name occupation and age means the uh, age of employee a uh, occupation of uh, uh, employee and uh, name of the employee and id of employee because a particular employee have a unique id so that's why here is a uh, <clears throat> Uh, here is uh, uh here is not uh, auto incremented and last thing is is primary key we need to define so this will be a unique and uh primary primary key and primary key we want id let me just capital so this id uh should be exactly match let's put it comma here all right so let me just format it you can also format from here as well there are button so we have a table and now we need to click go so once you click here our table has been created so you can see so if you want to see the structure of the table you can simply just click here and you will see the structure uh my name is capital so you can just change here uh, you can make it uh, small and save it so now you can click on structure and you will see the id name occupation and edge all right if you want to see uh, how many uh, tables in the database so you just simply click on this data uh, this database and you will see all the tables and in the same way we can write a queries of mysql and we can see the tables and here we can just type sort table and semicolon and go <laughs> let's just show tables and go you will see you have only one table employee table so let me create uh, another table like a uh, employee uh, in a mysql tutorial let me just uh, create a new table like a create table and name of the table is taste table and uh, just uh, this bracket and semicolon and here are the id 
should be uh, not null integer type and uh, not null not null and it's uh, auto incremented auto incremented and uh, name of <coughs> name is war jar war jar and its length is 50 and again just uh, not null not null so we have a uh, two tables so let me just uh, put the primary key on id so primary key and primary key is id let me just capital id and just go so now we have uh, two tables you can clearly see uh, my uh, employee table and the test table inside a mysql uh, tutorial all right so if you want to see the the same thing or uh, same list of the table in the database by query mysql query you can just click on a okay, sql and here you can just type a show tables and semicolon and go you will see the two tables if you have another table you can write uh, here